Hi guys, it is Kay Jones coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, my Fox 599 TIC Karambit. Um, it is, I got this knife for self-defense. Now, to be honest, the best self-defense weapon is a gun, hands down. Um, but as a woman, you know, we if we buy a gun for self-defense and then get our concealed carry license, unfortunately, the majority of us don't actually conceal carry it. And there's many factors for that. Women wear tighter clothing. Um, we have tighter pants. We don't really have pockets. Um, if we put the gun in our purse and someone steals our purse, then there goes our weapon. You also can't really quick draw from a purse very easily. Um, and speed is everything when it comes to self-defense. So like every second counts. Um, there's a lot of issues um, there with guns. And to me, if even though it's the best self-defense, if I'm not going to carry it every day, what good is that, right? There's, it doesn't do anything. So I wanted to get something that I can carry every day and that gives me leverage. So as a woman, we are much weaker than men, biologically, it's not fair. So we need some leverage if something happens to us and a knife really increases that and helps a lot. Now, the best option would be to conceal carry a gun and a knife, but um, for me, um, I just wouldn't go through the hassle for a gun, so I invested in a knife. Uh, now, <laughs> knives are not meant to be seen, they're meant to be felt, and this goes for any concealed carry weapon. So the whole idea of this is to never, ever, ever have to use it. It's supposed to be in the pocket or in the waistband and never really used. Um, but it's nice to have that option as a single woman to have some kind of protection or leverage if I'm grabbed and whatnot. So in most cases, women are not in a distance situation where um, there are some rare cases where, for example, mass shootings and whatnot, it's very unfortunate and terrible where there's nothing you can do. But in most situations, women are grabbed closely up front. Um, they're, they have an item being stolen from them, which is in close proximity. Um, and then, excuse me, I keep saying, um, I apologize. Um, or a man is trying to kidnap her from tra for trafficking or for other reasons he's wanting to use her. So a lot of those are pro uh, close proximity situations where in most cases, when a woman's dealing with a life or death situation, it's going to be in close proximity. If you're held at gunpoint, you really want to wait, do as you're told until the gun is no longer there and then quick draw. That's the whole point um, and, and get what you need to do done and run. Hit and run. That's what a woman wants to do um, unless she has proper training, which I don't have any martial arts training and whatnot. So let's get into it. Um, so the primary purpose of this um, review is because I did not see any Fox 599 TIC Karambit reviews on YouTube. Um, I'm sure many men watching this video who are looking into getting the Fox 599 TIC are not going to take what I say very much because I'm a woman, but this weapon was recommended to me, or this knife I should say, was recommended to me and then I did lots of research and I'm hoping that the information that I do provide helps you all out. So let's get into it. Um, so here is the knife. Uh, it's seven inches uh, in total. I have the TIC which uh, the difference between the, GI, uh, the TIC and the Fox 599 G10 is the titanium um, handle and the, also it has carbon fiber for the handle which makes it a bit lighter than the G10 which I believe is a type of um, um, kind of plastic I believe um, don't don't quote me on that though so the G10 is the cheaper version and they both will get the job done the same the same so the the Fox 599 TAC though is about 0.68 ounces lighter. Is that a significant amount? Probably not, especially for a man. For me, carrying something every day, I want it as light as possible. Um, there are some differences. So the steel on this is LMAX and the steel on the 599 G10 is the N690 um, Co. So 
this is considered more of a premium steel. I put that in air quotes because people's preference in steel is different. You know, uh, maybe it doesn't sharpen as well, but it's resistant to corrosion. Or maybe it's not resistant to corrosion, but it's um, this particular steel is very unlikely to break or have any kind of chipping. So steel, I love anything that is craft related. I really do. Um, when it comes to anything like jewelry or um, knives, uh, even guns, I just love the aspect of craft. I love people making something, a product that is can be used or appreciated for its beauty. And I just love also the intricacies of steel and metal crafting and metal work. I just got a thing for it, guys. Uh, so I found that process and doing that research very interesting. Uh, so yeah, it is LMAX. <clears throat> and uh, I think the titanium and carbon uh, fiber aspect is really cool, though I don't think it's necessary. One of the big differences, in my opinion, that was kind of a big deal for me is the locking mechanism. So if you would excuse me, I want to double check and make sure that I say the locking mechanism correctly. Um, the G10 has a linear lock and this one in particular has a frame lock. So it depends. Linear locks can hold up great. It depends on the metal that is in between the blade keeping it open uh, and the strength of it. But in general, like on a general aspect, a frame lock usually is a little bit stronger, especially one that is carbon fiber or titanium. So what I mean by frame lock is when you open it, the frame comes in and locks it. Now you don't need to worry about that being an issue when you hold it like this. I thought, am I going to squeeze it in the frame unlocks? That's not possible. So even if you squeeze, you're squeezing the, the frame. First of all, you won't feel any kind of squeeze or pressure. The frame is going into the blade, which keeps the blade uh, steady. So when you're squeezing it, you're just keeping it more locked into place. Although that's not an issue at all. Um, you have to pull out the opposite direction for the blade to come back in. So that, that's not an issue at all. That was a concern for me, but, um, you know, that's not, it, it, it's perfect. The frame lock I really like, and I just wanted to kind of review that because that was a concern when doing my research. Um, another thing I really liked about this is it does kind of have a more of an option to flick the blade open. So on the G10, or uh, so it would only usually come out like halfway like this, where on this one with the 599 tick, you can, uh, if you put enough pressure, it opens up automatically, which is really cool. Now, the main reason why the 599 Fox in general was really appeasing to me is the Emerson Wave flip feature. That patent has actually been removed. So on the older Fox 599s, you will see the Emerson Wave patent. That is not on the new ones because that seven or 10, I believe it's a 10 year patent has been, has ended. So now it's no longer called Emerson Wave. It's a different feature for Fox. Um, so patents can only be put into place for so many years. And so Emerson no longer has that right. Um, it has expired. But the Emerson Wave feature is a really big deal because speed is everything when it comes to self-defense um, and how fast you can draw and whatnot. Uh, so the way this goes is that when you have this in your pocket, excuse me, it will pick up on your pants lining and open up. Let me show you what I mean by that. So hopefully everyone can see. So if you have the blade in your pocket and whatnot, um, and let's say someone you want to bring out the blade, you can do so just like that. Very easy, very quick, um, great. Um, that, 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 and it's not automatic. It's just, it's so it's perfectly legal and whatnot. And I feel like that self protect, that protection is excellent. Um, and also karambits in general, which is the type of blade that this is, they are not legal in the United States if they are sharp on both sides. Unfortunately, you can only have a one-sided karambit. This blade would be so much more deadly if it was double-sided, like you have in Malaysia and whatnot. But, and that's not legal here. So, anyway, let's get into it. 
Um, I will kind of talk about how I've been using this for a month and what I really like about this blade. Now, I don't really bring it out unless I'm at in my apartment and like messing with it because it's so pretty. Um, when I'm out, it never comes out. It shouldn't. Like I said, uh, self-defense weapons are meant to be felt, not seen, and only in absolute emergencies, life or death. So, I'm going to talk about the history a little bit about the Karambit. The Karambit, I believe, started in um, Malaysia, from my understanding. It was used, this type of knife, um, because uh, for jungle brush and for farming, really. In, you know, the forest of Malaysia, there's these really thick vines and just... Uh, fl flora and oftentimes the karam at both sides would be used to clean that up and whatnot. Now there was a an uprising in Malaysia where farmers really ended up fighting against I believe the government from my understanding don't quote me that y'all can do your research yourself or an uprising I'm not sure if it was a civil war or something against the government and uh, then they started using their karambits for self-defense or for fighting um, and war, basically. And the weapon was so effective against fighting people that it just became well-known and a well-respected weapon. There are some pros and cons of the karambit. It doesn't have a lot of reach. If you hold it this way, which is not recommended, most karambits are held in this direction, like that. Um, but it doesn't have a lot of reach. If you hold it in this way, you'll get more reach and poking and whatnot, but that's not really how it's used. Some people do prefer holding it that way. Um, I don't in particular, but you don't have that reach like you do with another blade. Another thing is because of the shape of the karambit, although it will, it is brutal, it will slash a person up. And it, it, it's like a claw, like a falcon's claw or a tiger's claw. It's very brutal at slashing. But when it comes to the curve that it is, it can get stuck in bone. And if you get stuck, you're not going anywhere. And the, that curved shape, rather than stabbing, you can get stuck on something. So there are some faults to the karambit and there are some great pros. But that goes with all knife shapes and such. And I really love that craft about different knives and how they're used for utility or self-defense. The Krambit is 100% used for self-defense. Um, however, it's not really a utility knife at all. But I have used it to open boxes and whatnot. So there's that. But no, it's not a tool knife. It's not a tool pocket knife for sure. Um, that's not what its purpose was. So... The, this is the upgraded version, for sure, of the 599G10. Uh, I like it. I thought if I'm going to spend the money and get it on what I want, I thought it looked prettier. It's lighter, which I really appreciate. And I thought the upgrade for the LMAX steel was really cool because I really appreciate metalwork. And there's really no point to get the upgrade, honestly. I'm just one of those people who paid the money. I don't spend my money often, but when I do, I get what I want. Um, and so obviously I've never had to have had to use this knife. I've only been using it for a month for self-defense and I never, ever plan to. And I just want to reiterate that the clip is reversible. So if you are left-handed, you can reverse it on the other side very easily. You just screw it into the other side. Um, I haven't had any issues with the frame lock, but I'm also not banging this knife everywhere and like really pushing the frame lock to the test. Um, I'm just not doing that. But I haven't had any issues with just general flipping and whatnot and messing with it. Uh, another thing, this is comfortable in my pocket. I go to the gym with this on. I'll be on the stair stepper climber. It doesn't come out of my pocket. It, it the lock holds it, or the excuse me, um, the clip holds it well. Um, I haven't had any issues where this when I when I use the blade and practice and pull it out of my pocket and it and it opens, I haven't had any issues of it cutting me. In fact, uh, most people are really dumb when they get a karamba and they start trying to flip it and everything like that. I'm not here to flip this knife around and be stupid and cut myself. I'm here to, in a last resort defense, defend myself if needed, cut some boxes, you know, 
if a turtle needs to get the rope off of it, cut the rope off, whatever, you get what I mean. Um, so w when I have drawn the knife, I have not cut myself because of this, this side of the blade. If you put it in correctly, you're, you're pretty safe. Um, and then what else? I haven't had it jab into my stomach or be uncomfortable when I'm sitting. It's because this particular one, the tick or the TIC is so thin. It's so thin. It's awesome. And it just doesn't get in the way. And for a female saying that, if you're a male, you definitely won't have that issue. So some people prefer the G10 because one, it's half the price. I'm sure that's appealing. But two, um, it's a little heavier. So people argue, I like lighter, quick, get the job done, lighter for everyday use. But they're thinking in a self-defense situation, they want a heavier weapon so it slashes more. I don't think that's the case. You're talking 0.68 ounces. That's nothing. Um, the difference between the TIC and the G10. Fox uh, 479 is for bigger hands with gloves. I'm noticing most men get the 599 anyway. Um, what else is there to say about this before I close this video? Hmm. Um, I really love this aspect because the problem is with a lot of women if you have a self-defense knife people can just grab the knife out of your hand this this ring really helps for that so no one's grabbing this out of my hand because it's it's like gripped in there hard another thing is about this weapon that i really love which i don't think i will ever use because if it's life or death i'm, I'm death i'm getting out the blade but you can use this in a punching scenario. This is extremely hard, and if you whack someone's jaw, you're breaking their jaw with this um, bar right here, or excuse me, ring. So that's excellent. Um, another thing is if you do prefer her holding the karambit this way, you still have that security around your pinky finger. It's not as secure, but it gives you more reach, and um, it still is great. So overall, um, I'm sure there's a lot of things that I'm missing here. If you have any questions and you are wanting to get the Fox 599 and you're like, hey, should I spend the extra money because I'm a savage and I want to like you did, Kelsey, is it worth it? I don't know. It's up to you. Like I said, the, the steel upgrade, if you're a, a metal junkie like me who loves gold, silver, steel and all that, maybe it's because you're weird and into that, sure. And if you like it a little bit lighter, also the frame lock versus the linear lock, I don't know. This is the only pocket knife I own. I used to have a buck. Um, I went to the airport with it and they confiscated it. It was only like 40 bucks, so I let it go through. Um, and that wasn't for self-defense. That was just for general tools and whatnot. So this is the only po uh, knife I have um, for self-defense, for tool, anything. And I've loved it for a month. I really like it. Um, and, you know, I'm really glad I got it. No buyer's remorse, no buyer's regrets. I thought about it really hard. I slept on it for uh, probably two weeks, maybe a week, probably two weeks before I went for it. And um, I'm really glad I did. And I hope this review helped. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask. I'm not a knife expert. Um, I'm just, this is what I carry every day. And um, thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been awesome. Um, Hope you like it and sub if you want to see some more of my fun reviews on jewelry, uh, games, or just general life talk. Thanks so much, guys. Cheers.